Welcome to the CWI Part C Practice Questions, where I discuss the different questions that may come out of the CWI Part C exam. In this series, I will discuss the answers and the explanation to these answers and the clauses in which they can be found in the API 1104. This series will feature the API 1104 2021 edition as you can see here. So these are 5 sets of CWI Part C questions for API 1104 that will help your preparation during that part of the CWI exam. So without further ado, let's get started. When preparing a tensile specimen for testing, letter A, notch approximately 1 H shall be cut into each weld, B, the specimen must be machined, C, may be oxygen cut with no further preparation provided sides are parallel and smooth, D, Welding reinforcement may be removed. E. Both C and D. Chapter 5 of API 1104 discusses the qualification of welding procedures. That's why the tensile strength preparation is in this section. As you can see in note 1 and note 2, the specimen may be cut using any method. In the choices, it is stated that the specimen will be cut using oxygen cutting. Clearly, here in API 1104, it does not restrict the method of cutting. So this note 1 is correct. Note 2 corresponds to letter D of the question, indicating that the weld reinforcement may be removed. So the answer here is letter E. Both C and D are the correct answer. Next question. AWS specification A5.1 and A5.5 are used for welding. A. Using the SMAW process B. Pipe in 2G position only C. Root pass welding only D. Electrode groups in 1, 2, 3 E. Both C and D So, unless you memorize the AWS classification of filler metals, you will need this table to answer the question. Filler metal groups for welder qualification Chapter 4 of the standard refers the specification of equipment and materials for welding. It is rightfully so that the filler metal groups are indicated in this table or in this chapter. Now, it does not matter if this is for weld qualification or for welder performance qualification, the AWS specification remains the same. So from the choices, the answer is letter A. The specification pertains to SMAW as you can see in this row of the table. A5.1 or A5.5 refers to SMAW. So the answer here is letter A, using the SMAW process. By the way, I just want to take a break from the video and remind you of the free Udemy course that I've put in the description down below. So it composes of CWI Part A lectures, the introduction for welding inspectors. So you can check out the description below for that free Udemy course. Now back to the video. For welder qualification on pipe greater than 4.5 inch in diameter but less than or equal to 12 and 3 and quarters of an inch diameter with thickness less than 0.5 inch, the number of destructive test specimen required are A4, B6, C same as procedure qualification, D16, E depends on the wall thickness of the pipe. In the Part C of the exam, it is important that you mark with stickies all the tables and standards so you can easily locate them. In this question, it is being asked the number of destructive tests needed for the welder qualification test. You'll just need to locate the size in this table like so. So, in this question, it is being asked the number of specimen required for 4.5 inch to 12.75 inch under 0.5 inch well thickness so this will be the governing row not this one because the wall thickness in this one is greater than 0.5 of an inch so the number of nick break test and root bend test is two for nook two for nick break test and two for root bend test so the total required number of tests needed for this specimen is Hence, the answer here is letter A. Hence, the answer here is letter A. 4. The number of test specimen needed for this size and wall thickness of pipe is 4. How many root bends 
how many root bent specimen are required for 8 inch outside diameter pipe with wall thickness 12.7 mm according to data in table 3. A none, B1, C2, D3, E4. Now this question explicitly stated the table number that is needed to be referred to, in this case, table 3. You just need to identify the diameter and thickness of the pipe with the required number of specimen for root bend test. So the outside diameter of 8 inch pipe falls under this category from 4.5 inch to 12.75 inch. So the number of root bend specimen here is 2 because the wall thickness is 12.7 mm. Now the wall thickness qualifier here is inclusive of 0.5 inch or 12.7 mm. So the answer here is letter C. So the answer here is letter C. The number of root bent specimen for this pipe is when pipe is welded above ground, the working clearance around the pipe should not be less than A. 450 mm B. 400 mm C. 300 mm D. 350 mm E. 250 mm Chapter 7 refers to the design and preparation of a joint for production welding. Hence, these requirements for production welding like clearance is stated. The question asks the pipe welding above ground clearance. So here, when the pipe is welded above ground, the working clearance around the pipe at the weld should not be less than 16 inch, 400 mm. So the standard just ensures that proper weld is being done especially for the tough positions like 6G, hence this clearance requirement. So the answer here is letter B, 400 mm. There you have it. So that's 5 practice questions that will help you during the CWI Part C of the examination for API 1104. So if you want more guides regarding the CWI exam Part A or some lectures regarding the CWI exam or just become a better welding inspector by uh, learning how to read a uh, welding procedure specification, identifying essential variables and the like. You can check my channel and the playlist are in this description. So if you like that video, please subscribe to, to my channel and comment down below for any questions. See you on the next one.